Welcome to the reveal of our mid-century modern kitchen up at the lake house. We have been working so hard over here and it's looking really good. We have lots of finishing detail work to do still, but we had to give you an update because it's looking so, so good. So as you can see, we have all of our appliances in, which is so, so pretty and finally useful in here. Um, those are like our modern touches. And then we kept a lot of the original mid-century look and feel as, we, as much as we could. So we, these originally were just flat white cabinets and instead of ripping them all out, we decided to put a nice wood veneer on them and we'd seen them really dark, which is very true classic to that mid-century look. Um, but then we added in the brass handles um, just to kind of help modernize it, make it feel a little bit fresh and new. As you can see, we have all new appliances. The fridge we chose to go with this bright orange, which is kind of a nice mixture of that retro thrown in there. Um, it's such a cool statement piece. I just love, love, love that. You guys know when we first bought this house, it was um, looked a lot different. We ended up ripping out all the carpet. We put in uh, nice cement floors in here, which will be so durable, last forever. So as we've been designing this Airbnb, we knew that we had to have materials that were very tough and sturdy and designed to take a lot of wear and tear. So we went with the concrete floors. They're also beautiful and just very like industrial and kind of true to this um, style of home. It's a little bit different for Michigan. We're not used to seeing that. So we did add in big cozy rugs and cozy furniture to kind of bring that warmth back in. But the floors are indestructible and so, so pretty. We added in some unique touches in the kitchen that we thought were just kind of fun and a nice like talking conversational point. This used to be a big pantry that was built out here. Um, but there's actually a pantry behind this wall. And if you're only staying here for a week, you don't need two pantries. And we wanted an island to be expanding as big as we could so you can just fit everybody around here. You know, everybody just loves to gather in the kitchen. That's where the food is. That's where good conversation, games, everything. So we wanted to make a, as big of an island as we possibly could. So that's what we did here. And then we took out this pantry and we added this really cool modern sliding door, which leads into another big pantry. So that's where you can store your food for the week and drinks, and we'll have some cleaning supplies in there and stuff as well. Um, back here will be coffee station and things like that. This beauty. We have a pink one for the bow house, orange one for here. Um, it's just a fun, like, maybe you wouldn't choose this for your own house, but it's like a fun to have for the week. So it's really, just a cool design piece. Before we get any further into the video, I wanted to take a minute to thank today's video sponsor, Birch Living. Uh, so we've been designing this bedroom and you know getting really excited about the design of it, but we wanna make sure this is a comfortable place, a restful place for us to sleep. And so uh, we decided to go with Birch Living. This is the Birch Living Lux mattress. Uh, we chose this first of all because we love that they source their materials responsibly. They, it's made from organic cotton, latex, things like that. It doesn't have the polyurethane foam that has harmful off-gassing. And that was really important to us just because we're gonna be up here with our kids a lot. Uh, we just wanted to feel good about the materials being used, but it's also super comfy. This is a the Lux mattress. This has um, you know a hybrid mattress with a foam topper and it's really cozy. So far we are loving it. It just gives us a really good night's sleep. Uh, I'm very picky about my mattresses and so I really appreciate this one in that it's supportive yet really cozy. I just get a really good night's sleep on it and my back feels amazing when I wake up in the morning. Other mattress companies use fiberglass as a flame retardant in their products, but birch mattresses are free of harmful fiberglass materials. With your birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. Birch has free shipping within the U.S. and delivers the mattress right to your door. They also offer in-home setup and removal to take to make your buying experience as convenient as possible. Each Birch mattress also comes with two of their EcoRest pillows made from recycled materials. They're breathable and better for the environment. And finally, I'm excited to announce that Birch has an amazing Black Friday deal, 27% off your mattress purchase. So I'll put a QR code up on the screen, but if you click the link below and use code BIRCHPARTNER27, you can get 27% off. Uh, which is really an amazing deal on this quality mattress. Let's get back into the video. So I've been trying to uh, collect and stack the cabinets. I want this to feel more like a hotel stay and less like um, old dishes. So I did like get all matching new dishes here. Um, so I've been kind of filling the cabinets with that. Um, I have got these coffee pots for both here in the boathouse that do a pot of coffee or a K-cup, depending on which one you prefer, which one you like. I am slowly collecting like unique mugs because I think it's fun to pick out a unique 
mug and then you can tell which one's yours. Yeah, so lots of like thought has gone into this and we're still just like really pouring our hearts into it, um, trying to figure out like what we would want if we were here, if we were like coming from Chicago and staying here for the week, what kind of things would be important for us to have and what would make it extra like, wow, I'm so glad they had this, but that wasn't necessary, but I'm glad it's here. Um, Jamie put up this really nice tile all throughout, which is like a grayish, greenish. It's like a soft, neutral color, if that makes sense, which is really what I wanted. I want it to be a little bit unique, but still like not be too overpowering. He put in this beautiful gold faucet, which is just a nice modern touch. The auction find, right? Auction find, yep. Delta, and then this nice stainless black sink. All of our appliances are pretty modern, so that was my goal for the whole place, was to add in modern so it felt fresh and new, but still having that like classic mid-century style. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of been the challenge, but it's been really fun. I've been like stocking glassware and things like that. Um, overall, it's been a really fun project and we're just, it's been a lot more to think about than I thought it would be, like as far as thinking through like what someone might need and, and also want and feel like is a really extra luxury to have for the week here. Um, and we still have a lot of that to figure out before next summer. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the island really quick because I'm super proud of it, but uh, we put these really big, this is actually only four tiles for the whole eight foot island. They're 24 by 48 inch tiles uh, from Home Depot. Uh, we did no grout, so it was like the easiest tile project I ever did. Uh, it was definitely, and it looks great too, it's a, just a really nice understated accent piece. This is a piece of plywood, three quarter inch, and then we did edge banding across the front to make it a chunkier feel. Um, so just really proud of how it turned out. Uh, we're still trying to figure out a few pieces here, like Sarah has a, a bench that she ordered. Uh, we're gonna do like benches and coat hooks here. This is where the beloved piano was. Sorry guys, we got rid of the piano. So we're just trying to fight, figure out some of those final finishing touches. We're gonna show you this in a different video, but this is a 12 foot long dining table we built. Um, it's really, looks great in the space and it'll be able to seat a lot of people uh, when they come to stay here. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna have some more DIY stuff to show you, uh, but we just wanted to give you a quick update of the kitchen. I'm really proud of how it's turning out uh, and we'll see you in the next video.